to sketch the quadratic function a very common question in your igcc exams so let's see the steps so let's say you have y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c the quadratic function where a is not equal to zero now to draw the graph of this you have to first find the shape of the curve now we know this will be a parabola but it may, may be a valley curve or it can be a mountain curve like this or like this now it is dependent on a if this a is positive that is coefficient of x square is positive we have a valley curve if a is less than zero this is a mountain curve that will define the shape now find x intercept now for finding x intercept that is the point of intersection with x axis you solve the equation these are the x intercept you see solve the equation ax square plus bx plus c so that y is equal to zero so solving this you may you will get the coordinates of the point of intersection with x axis that will be the x intercept now similarly find the y intercept the point where this is intersecting y axis so for that you may make x equal to zero so you can see if i put x is equal to zero you'll get y is equal to c that is zero comma c is the y intercept of this now the most important point the turning point how to find the turning point of the uh, quadratic curve so you see this is the quadratic curve a positive or a negative what is the turning point this is the turning point the vertex point is the turning point now how to get this there is one way you just remember this that x coordinate is minus b by 2a negative b upon 2a and the value at minus b by 2a this will give you the y coordinate so this will give you the turning point x coordinate and y coordinate now the other way of finding the turning point is using the completing square method so if you complete the square which is a x minus h square plus k then h comma k is the turning point and this is a question which is definitely asking your exams also convert into square complete the square and then find the turning point or otherwise you can see that dy at turning point dy by dx is equal to zero so just differentiate this and make it equal to zero that will give you the x coordinate of the turning point so that these are the three ways to find the turning point now using this we can plot what is the turning point and join these points to draw the graph to draw the sketch of the curve okay so i hope you understood this please uh, if you have liked this video please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends that's it for this thank you bye bye